All right, what is up, my peeps? Joshua Smith here with another GSD Mode Podcast Real Estate Tip. And today, I'm here to talk to you about a hard message, which is to stop your excuses and understand that your success is 100% your responsibility. So before I jump into this, look, I want to be very clear on this. I'm not doing this to try to be a hard ass. I'm not doing this to try to be a dick. You know, I'm not trying to do this to make you feel bad. I'm doing this because I truly care about you. I truly care about your success. I want you to go out there and dominate and murder your real estate goals and go out there and create the life that you truly know that you want to create for you, for your family, for your business. Go out there and make a massive impact. I want you guys to go out there and get shit done, which is what this podcast is all about. But in order to do that, we must 100% take full responsibility of every aspect of our life. So here, I'm going to read off some just excuses that I'm hearing every single day. You know, as I'm having conversations, agents, team leaders, brokerage owners, hearing these excuses over and over and over as to why their business isn't where they want it to be, as to why their business is down, or maybe why they're struggling, or they're growing at a slower rate than they want to grow today. Um, and then we're going to get into, I want to you know talk about stopping the excuses, taking whole responsibility. Then I'm going to get into, of course, what to go do about it. Because me to just tell you to stop whining and go out there and, and start taking action, like that's not going to serve and help you. Yeah, we got to know that. We got to understand that. But I want to talk about what to do to go out there and quickly turn around your situation and to ensure that you are making your goals a reality. So excuses I'm hearing over and over and over right now is, oh man, my, my business is down because of the market. Oh, it's the economy. Oh, it's interest rates. Oh, I'm not creating success or I'm, I'm having a difficult time creating success because I've got this job and I'm part-time in real estate and, and I just don't have enough hours. All bullshit. Right? I'm not saying that you don't have a, a job and you're part-time in real estate. I'm saying the fact that you can't crush it and go out there and dominate. I know plenty of part-time agents that I work with, that I mentor, that I coach, that are popping two, three, four deals a month, even though they have 40-hour week jobs. Like All of this stuff is possible. Oh, my, my broker just isn't providing me the help and the support that I need. Oh, my spouse. My spouse isn't supportive of, of me and my business, right? It ain't your spouse's fault, right? I'm not, not saying that maybe you know, don't have things to fix there, but your success is your responsibility. Oh, my kids. You know, I can't create success because I got kids. You know, um, I don't know what to do. That's a very common one. You know, I want to create success, but I don't know what to do. You know, um, nobody taught me. You know, my broker didn't teach me. My team leader didn't teach me. Nobody taught me. You know, look, the, the reality of the situation is you go to real estate school. They are going to teach you how to go out there and keep your ass out of jail, how to go out there and take care of your clients. They're going to teach you all the contract stuff. Nobody's going to teach you how to go out there and make money in this business, right? Like that is your responsibility. I'm not saying nobody's going to teach you. I'll teach you how to make money, right? But I'm saying like, that's not your broker's job. That is not your real, real estate school's job. Just like maybe you go to, you know, I don't know, Harvard or some Ivy League school or just whatever insert college name and you go learn to become an attorney. Okay, they're going to teach you the law, but they're not going to teach you how to go out there and create a successful attorney practice and how to go out there and get clients. That is your job as an entrepreneur to go out there and do these things. All right, so just stop the excuses. And again, I'm not doing this because I'm trying to be a hard ass or a dick. I'm doing this because we cannot facilitate growth inside of our life if we're being a victim and hiding behind bullshit excuses that are just untrue in the first place. And I'm not saying that these are not legitimate obstacles that you need to overcome. But what I am saying is these are just legitimate obstacles that you need to be over to come. And we got to be resourceful. And we got to figure this stuff out. And you 100% can figure this stuff out if you are committed to doing so. So we got to understand that we are exactly where we are at in our life right now because you have chosen to be where you are at. So if you are struggling right now, you have chosen based on the choice. And why I say chosen is the choices that you have made day in and day out over you know your whole life to this point have led you to where you are at. Now, here's the cool part about that. If you do not like what those choices have compounded into, well, you can get a pick and choose to go out there and make different choices, right? How you act, how you behave, your rituals, your behaviors, your, your learning style, like all of these things have led you to exactly where you're at. If you do not like where your bank account is right now, okay, number one, 
First thing is to take full responsibility because if we don't do that, here's what's going to happen is your behaviors aren't going to change. Your actions aren't going to change. What you do isn't going to change. You know, the way that you operate, the way that you think those things aren't going to change. And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. And you're just going to become insane or worse than insanity is you are going to become a victim and start whining and complaining, uh, 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 blaming others and, and circumstances and situations that, that for how bad your situation is. And it's nobody's fault but your own, right? Like we just, again, the sooner that we understand that, and this is what all successful people understand, is you got to take 100% full, full responsibility of your entire situation. Here's the blessing of this, is the second that we do this, well, then we also then know, hey, that it's 100%, like if it were, were, were the problems that we're experiencing is 100% my fault, well, then I'm also 100% the solution. It gives us our power back, right? So it allows us then, okay, if it's me that got me here, okay, now I can get me out of here, right? It allows us to be proactive, to take control with this. Now, I want to break down four different things here of what you can do and how you can turn this around right now in this economy, right now in this real estate market and turn this shit around fast. Right. So, and just an example with this, I mean, I was just having this conversation with a coaching client just the other day um, um, where, you know, I'm like, dude, if you do everything I just mapped out now being in, in, you know, dealing in realism, being, being, you know, realistic with his schedule, like we didn't have to add more hours, didn't have to do anything there, you know, just shifting around, you know, just a few of these things I'm talking about here today, you know, shifting around his strategy, shifting or making a few minor tweaks. Right. I'm like, dude, like we will 5X your business in 2024 without having to work more hours, without like doing the shit you're already doing, just doing it more effectively and doing it more strategic and just switching a few little things. All of this is 100% possible and you can turn this stuff around really quick. Now, real quick, before I jump into this stuff, if you are at a level right now in your business, whether you're a realtor, team leader, broker, owner, um, and you're stuck, you know, right? Whether your business is declining, whether it's staying the same, or maybe it is going up, but it's just not going up to the point that you you want or, or really want to be, or you're, you're operating down here, you know that your potential is way up here, and you just don't really truly know what to do on how to get from where you're at to where you want to go. I'd like to invite you to, to schedule a 100% zero pressure, 100% free strategy call with me personally. And on this call, this is going to be a Zoom call. We're going to jump on this for one hour, right? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about what your business is at currently, what your 12-month goals are, what your long-term goals are, what your current biggest obstacles are. Then we're going to talk about what you are currently doing. And then based on that information, it's going to be kind of like a mini podcast, you know, uh, interview episode. Then from there, before the end of that session, I'm going to map out exactly what my recommendation, if I'm you in your shoes, here's exactly what I would do to get from where you're at to where you want to go in the quickest, most effective, efficient, profitable manner possible. And by the end of this session, you will know exactly what to go out there and execute on and go out there and do. So I'll make sure you got clarity on that during, during this call. Now, only you can execute. I can't execute for you, but I can give you the roadmap. And that's what we'll do here. Now, full disclosure on this call. At the end of this call, yeah, I'm going to spend a few minutes and I'm going to share with you some possible options that I might have through my coaching programs to get you from where you're at to where you want to go. And, and just so you have awareness that they exist. And, and if you feel that like they can you know, help you, um, great. If not, that's okay too. I will make sure that this call is extremely powerful, regardless whether you want to move forward or not. So that being said, because I want to get back to the content here, not just keep talking about this thing here. Um, but I know that so many of you are struggling right now, or so many of just just lost on exactly what to go out there and do, right? What? With this being said, like if you are not taking action on this, booking this call with me, you have no excuse then, because I promise you, I will get you dialed in. I 100% got you. I got you or back. I will get you dialed in. You knowing exactly what to go out there and do to get from where you're at to where you want to go. So if you want to schedule that, go to www gsdmode.com forward slash zoom call. So this is GSD mode podcast. This is zoom call. Easy way to remember it. Just case you're driving down the road, you know, listening to this www.gsdmode.com forward slash zoom call. Okay. So now let's talk about the four things that you got to get dialed in right now. And again, you can turn this shit around fast. Like you can, because I'm talking with agents, teamers and broker owners every single day right now where I'm like, look, you can easily go out there and double and triple your business in 2024. Like you do not have to go out there and, 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 and continue to live with the, the negative, you know, the, the negative repercussions of the production that you're doing right now. You know, if you're struggling, if you're, you know, having sleepless nights, if you're stressing, if you are worried, like that is a choice to stay in that situation. 
right? Like these things can be turned around and turned around very fast if you choose to. Yeah, it's going to take work. And now you're going to have to work. I'm not saying that, you know, like you're not going to have to go out there and execute, but this shit can be turned around fast. So if you choose to, you know, most people though, and you'll find this in life, most people don't actually want to solve their own problems, like solve their problems, but they sure like to complain about their problems. So we just got to then ask ourselves, okay, am I somebody that just likes to, maybe, maybe I'm just a negative whiner. You know, or if I'm not, okay, let me go out there and figure out the solution to solve these problems. All right, so let's talk about the the overall four things that you need to dial in right now. Um, and this is, I don't care if you are an individual agent, team leader, brokerage owner, part-time, you've been doing this 40 years. These are the four solutions right now. Okay, number one, uh, you got to get extremely clear on what your overall goal is, what the overall target is that you want. So what I want you to do is I want you to write down, okay, what is the exact target I must hit at the end of 2024 for this to be a win? What does that mean to me, my family, to my business? What does that mean on a personal level? If you do not identify your own, you, like you got to identify and internalize your own internal pain and pleasure. What is the pain that you are currently experiencing? If your business continues to operate at the status quo. So if your business is down 20% and your business is going down and down and down. Okay. If you continue to, to either your business staying the same or continue to go down at the rate that you're going down right now, what does that mean to you and your family? Right. What does that mean to you personally? How does that make you feel? How, how are you going to sleep at night? When you look in the mirror, then, then how does that make you, you know, what does that make you feel about yourself? Like internalize this. I want you to live in your own internal pain and pleasure because if the pain of our current situation does not outweigh the pain of the change that we have to go through, you are going to stay in your current situation. Right. So then from there, we want to get clarity then again on, on, okay, not just what the goal is, but what that is going to mean for, our, for us, for our family, how is it going to make me feel personally with the overall impact that is for my overall situation, right? Because look, you're going to have a thousand reasons as to, not, as to why not to go out there and do the work. There's only going to be a few reasons typically as to why to show up and do the work each and every day, right? So, so we want to be extremely clear on those things. All right, so we got, and so, you know, the goal, being clear on the goal, what, what it is, why it's important to you, what it means to you is going to help you execute and push through the bullshit. You got to push through to create the success that you want to create. But not only that, it's the only way then we can reverse engineer the plan. Somebody comes to me, well, you know, I'd, I'd like to do, you know, um, um, you know, between a hundred and 150 units. Well, I'm like, is it a hundred or is it 150? I got to know, you know, right? Like I can revert, I can tell you all the way down to the hour of every single day, what you need to be doing to make that a reality. You know, every single day, every single week, every single month, like we, but there's a difference between hundred and 150, like which one is it? Right. So, so we got to know what that is. Okay. Number two is you got to make sure that you've got the right strategy to, to get from your current production to where you're at. So, you know, based on what you are doing right now, what are those activities, what's working, what's not working, let's eliminate what's not working. Let's identify what's working. Okay. Well, how many exact units did you close in the last 12 months from, from, you know, you or your agents or whatever, you know, whether an agent, team leader, brokerage owner. Um, um, so, you know, what does that look like? Right. So, okay. If we continue to replicate that, those same actions and behaviors, okay. We can predict then the exact amount of, of units that that's going to close for this year. Okay. What is that deficit? And then what is the, so maybe your, you know, your current deals are getting you to, you know, I don't know, you know, 30% of where you need to be. Okay. Well, how we, what are we going to do for additional strategies to make up that other 70% deficit that, that we need to fill to make your goals a reality. Right. And then with strategy on that, it's what is working in this given market. This is a market of needs, not of wants. You got to target the people with the highest probability of buying or selling in this given market. So who are those people? What, who am I going to go out there and attack? You know, how am I going to go out there and attack those? That strategy Strategy is just your overall effective plan to make the goal a reality, right? Then from there, we got two vast things. You got process. So process is just what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, how frequently I'm doing it, right? So process matters. This is a market when you got half of the population that are omitted from being able to transact in this marketplace, you cannot afford to fuck up an opportunity. Like you have to be on your A game. You got, you got, you know, a record, you know, at or close to record low listing levels. You got at or close to record low transaction levels. And then when we factor that into the amount of licensed, you know, agents in, in our industry, we've never seen a more competitive landscape ever. Right? at least in NAR's recorded history. So I'm not saying that to discourage anybody. Like it's so easy to go out there and fish with dynamite. It's like fishing with dynamite right now, murder and kill it and go out there and, and just crush your business. You know, right? Um, it's so easy right now because 95 plus percent of the agents in our industry are just sitting down, waiting, ho hoping, their business plan is hope and prayer. 
you know, right? And look, I'm all about hope. I'm all about prayer, but that's, I've learned in business that it gets me nowhere, right? Like I need to have an effective plan. I got to execute on the plan. You know, it's like, it's like, you know, God feeds the birds, but God does not put food in the ma- their mouths. The birds need to learn to be strategic of how to go out there and hunt and where to hunt and, you know, best times, best places. God gave them all the senses. God gave them the ability to go out there and do those things, but they got to go out there and do those things. God isn't going to put, you know, real estate deals on your lap, put commissions in your pocket, but he's going to give you the ability to, you know, to go out there and hunt, right? We're talking about hunting right now. You got to hunt. You got to go out there and play offense. You know, so what the process though is what I'm doing, how frequently I'm doing. So based on any single, you know, lead source, okay, like what am I doing? When am I doing it? Where am I doing it? That's the process. How frequently am I doing it, right? This is a game about to maximize conversions, right? And, and, and ensure that we're not pissing away opportunities. You cannot rely on low hanging fruit. Most of you did that over the last decade and that you got complacent and that's why your business is getting crushed right now. Look, you just, you just got used to being passive, used to playing defense. There was an abundance of low hanging fruit. That was easy money, easy time. And that's all gone right now. When I say, when I talk about hunting, it's like, okay, every single day, what are you doing to intentionally go out there and put deals together? What are you doing? You're, you're playing offense, right? I'm not waiting for people to come to me. I'm going to them. Right. Um, what, you know, call on whatever it may be, right. With the strategies. Um, but we got to make sure our process is dialed in. So that's, you know, your frequency, how long you're following up, where you're following up, right. Processes, just the step-by-step actions that we must take to get the desired result that we're looking to get. The last component here is skill set. Look, your skill set must be dialed in. If you do not know how to have effective conversations, if you do not know how to identify, uh, uh, you know, the, the actual true core obstacles, not just the BS, you know, defense mechanism obstacle for them to try to get out of the conversation, right? If you, and, and, and most importantly, like, you know, the best way to overcome obstacles is to prevent the obstacles, you know, prevent, present the, I'm sorry, present, pre- uh, prevent the uh, yeah, objections, right? So, so, okay. Like, do you know, do you have a, a effective objection prevention skills? Do you have effective objection overcoming skills? Do you have effective rapport building and connection skills, right? Do you know how to go out there and offer value when you are setting the appointment to get people to agree to the appointment and set that appointment? You know, right? Like we got to have a, like our skill set needs to be dialed in. And again, this is so damn easy right now because 95 plus percent of our industry has such low level skill sets or even these, you know, competitive sources like expires, like Fizbo's are converting higher than I've ever seen them convert in my t- almost 20 years of doing this because we are stuck in an industry with such low level skill set of people. And I don't know if this is like a post COVID thing. Or if this is just like a generational thing, maybe I'm just getting damn old. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know I'm getting old, you know, right? Or older, I'm 42, but I feel like I'm freaking 17, right? I feel better than I did when I was 17. So, you know, until I look in the mirror, I watch one of these podcasts back and I start seeing some wrinkles and shit and, you know, seeing my shaved bald head, I guess, bald, you guess you can call it. Maybe I'm balding, I don't know, but shaved head, you know, um, 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 then, okay, then I realize, okay, maybe, yeah, I am getting a little bit older, but I feel young as shit, you know, right? But I don't know if it's, you know, an age thing where I'm just like, man, People today just do not know how to converse. And again, maybe this was a symptom of COVID, or a, a, a result, you know, right? A side effect, you know, where, where people lost the ability to, when we get locked in our homes for so long. I don't know. All I know is, man, most people are awkward on conversations. They don't know how to have the conversations. They don't know how to have effective conversations. You might be like, oh, I love people. You know, right? But okay, like, are you, like maybe you like to talk to people, but do you know how to talk to them in the right way? Do you know how to identify the goals? Do you know the objective of call number one or conversation number one? Yeah, right. And how to handle that and navigate that and the frameworks to be able to abide by that. So you do not have to operate off of scripts and sound like some telemarketer, right? Which is going to be very ineffective. Do you know then the objective of every follow-up call and how to develop that rapport and establish timelines and reinforce goals and timelines and when to go in for that appointment, right? This is what I'm talking about skill set, like your ability to go out there and close and lead the process. You must have these things dialed in. If you do not have have these four things dialed in, you're going to be fucked, you know, right? Um, uh, meaning that your business is going to stay in the status quo, right? So, so we got to dial these things in. We got to take this stuff serious. And this stuff does not take long. I know it sounds like it could be overwhelming hearing this stuff. It's like, like within a month, like you can have all this stuff dialed in, rock and roll and turn your situation around. Um, so you can go out there and crush it. And again, if you are stuck on any of this stuff, if you do not know what you need to be doing to get from where you're at to where you want to go, I invite you to schedule a 100% free, 100% zero pressure Zoom strategy call with me personally. We're going to talk about where your business is at, what your 12-month goals are, what your long-term goals are, what your biggest objections are that you are personally experiencing, right? Um, what you are currently doing, 
And then from there, I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. You know, I'm going to, I need to break down your business and, you know, know, know where you're at. And then I'm going to give you my roadmap. Yeah, right. Like, hey, here, if I'm you, if I'm in your situation, here's exactly what I would do to go out there and get from where you're at to where you want to go in the quickest, most effective, efficient, profitable manner. So you will know exactly what to do. So if you are stuck, like I said, I got you, man. I got you covered. I got your back. I got you. We'll get you freaking dialed in. Now you still got to go out there and execute. Nobody's going to go do the work for you. Like you got to go out there and the birds got to feed themselves. They got to go out there and hunt for the food, you know, right? But I'm going to let you know the best hunting spots. I'm going to let you know what times of day is. You know, I, I'm going to make sure you know what to do, regardless of what level that you're at. Individual agent, team leader, brokerage owner, mentor you guys all, you know, right? So happy to do this and, and help out. So, um, um, and then, yeah, full disclosure during this call and only, only for, I mean, maybe 10 minutes max, depending on how many questions that you have. You know, yeah, I'm going to walk through. I'm going to show you, you know, what my coaching program is, what it entails, see if it's a fit for you. If it's not, that's okay. We can still be friends too. I will make sure that this call is extremely powerful for you. Whether you ever jump into my coaching or not, again, I will make sure it's powerful for you. So you got nothing to lose, everything to gain by scheduling this call. So if you are struggling and you don't schedule this call, I cannot help you. The only thing I ask, and I'm going to say this before we hang up, is that if you schedule this call, look, I'm going to take time out of my busy day. I'm going to take time out of my business. I'm going to take time away from my family. I'm willing to sacrifice those things to pour into you, to help you out, because I will make sure, like, I'm going to help you. I'm going to get you dialed in. You will know exactly what to do. Um, the only thing I ask is if you schedule this, that you show up. If you know, show me. Now you're going to get a reschedule link, you know, so with reminders and you'll see it everywhere. You get emails and you'll have it in the calendar invite. So if you really, like if something comes up, you get sick or whatever, you got to reschedule. Okay, like I get that, right? So you can reschedule. But if you know, show me, then I'm not going to allow you to book another one, right? Like, and, and this is not me bullshitting. I have a list. Cause I have a couple people a week that do this to me. And then, I, then I'll, I'll message them like, Hey, what, 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 you everything. Okay. Like, where were you? Oh, well, client came up. Yeah. Right. I'm like, okay. You couldn't have like, maybe gave me a heads up. You know, I just, you know, missed my, you know, like going having, you know, meeting with my kids or, or yeah, you know, I couldn't give me a heads up. Like if you disrespect me in my time in that manner, like I'm just not, not that I'm going to think negatively of you. I'm just not willing to help you then on these anymore. I just ask that you value my time because I value your time. I will be there five minutes early. If you want to jump on five minutes early, we can jam early. I will be there five minutes early. So even if you're five minutes late, you got me waiting there for 10 minutes and I have a very strict five minute you know, late policy where I'm off. Even if you show up at five minutes and two seconds, like I'm out, you know, right? Um, um, you know, so I just ask that you show up, show up on time. You know, don't no show me because um, then if you try to book another one, I'm just going to cancel it, delete it. And 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 I have that same. This is, I guess, another another, you know, kind of coaching topic, not about this coaching call here. Um, but people in life will treat you based on what you tolerate. So like, OK, like when I'm recruiting agents or, or staff or anything. Yeah. Right. Like, dude, if they're if they no show or they're late, like they've lost that opportunity. Yeah. Right. Like, like, you know, people will treat you based on what you tolerate. So um, um, anyway, though. If you want to schedule that, www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. www.gsdmode.com forward slash Zoom call. All right, guys, go get these four things dialed in. Keep crushing it. Keep kicking ass. We'll see you next time. Peace.